Number 31, structures on a bird further act like a reflection grating having 8,000 lines per centimeter. What is the angle of the first order maximum for 600 nanometer light? All right, so we're dealing with the maximum formula. We're dealing with diffraction. You know this by now, right? The past like 29 problems have been dealing with this almost same formula exclusively. Um, so d, <laughs> d sine theta is equal to m wavelength. In order for me to find the angle, I have to divide out the d and then take the inverse sine of now both sides, okay? And that'll cancel the sine on the left, and then we're just gonna make this look a little nicer. Now, in order to answer the question, we need to know the distance between the slits, not the number of slits, or basically lines per centimeter. So what we essentially have to do here is we're going to then take the inverse of this value, okay? So essentially what I'm put, writing now is one centimeter for every single 8,000 lines when I now do this division, I will get one divided by 8,000, and that is 1.25, 1.25 times 10 to the minus fourth centimeters per line. Now to keep everything consistent, because this is centimeters, here's nanometers, that's a problem, just convert everything to meters. So centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top, there is going to be, for every one meter, there's 100 centimeters. So you're gonna multiply that by, excuse me, divide it, by basically um, 100, so this is 1.25 times 10 to the minus sixth now, okay? And that's in terms of meters per line. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and that's your D value, okay? So let's move this on over a little bit and let's start plugging it in. So sine, inverse sine that is, of the first order max, so M is one. The wavelength they told us was 600 nanometers, convert that into meters, and then simply just divide that now by that distance between the slits. Take out the quackulator and go to town. Make sure it is in degree mode. 600 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by 1.25 times 10 to the minus sixth. Hopefully I'm saying that enough where when you're taking your test, like you hear me in the back of your head, make sure it's in degree mode, okay? You don't wanna make a mistake like I did once upon a time. So then when I, we consider the rounding, that's going to be the angle. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this helps. All right, um, if you can like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, also, we got tons of other videos out there if you're taking any other courses like pre-calculus, chemistry, a whole bunch of other subjects we're gonna have out there um, in the near future. Check it out, all right? We'd love to help you with more stuff. We'll see you soon.